Hello, hello, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XI. So, as I said last time, we are going to try the last assaults that we haven't done. And I believe this is one of them. You can double check that. I'm going to count through these and make sure that I was only missing three, because I was pretty sure I was only missing three, but I'm actually not 100% sure on that. And we might fail this attempt, I don't know. Uh, the guide I read said that you can't do it without movement speed plus, and we have movement speed plus on Summoner in the form of the Desert Boots, which, as long as we cast Sandstorm on ourselves, which we have access to now that we're 99. Uh, we can move fast. The other advantage to being Summoner is that if we take aggro, um, Sandstorm doesn't wear off, and our pet, assuming we have a pet out, will start fighting whatever's aggroed us, uh, freeing us up to continue moving and passing out the food. Um, it's not foolproof, I don't think, but we'll see what happens. The funny thing is, is I don't even remember this assault very much. Like, I have a vague recollection. I think all the soldiers we feed are in full sapahi. And, uh, which is what the guards around Ottergon wear. And then <coughs> I just remember splitting up and, uh, getting it done pretty quickly and not thinking very much about it at all. Now the real kicker to these assaults is, is that once we get Captain we'll be able to start a mythic weapon. I plan on working on the Samurai mythic weapon uh, as an honor to my mom. I think I've told you that story before. She, Like the one time she took interest in me playing this game way back in like 2009 or no I guess it would have been 2010 yeah I guess it was Christmas 2010 by the way you know she asked are you the knight I was on samurai and it's like uh yeah I'm the knight <laughs> okay so we got 30 minutes we finished this? okay so she gave us pea soup I don't think that's very good but uh we'll see what happens no oh goodness, dog. Do you want out right this minute? You were laying under that blanket so calmly. Okay. I think Carbuncle cost less than the other ones. We can only get one temporary item of food per trip, and I believe unless it's a stew pot type food, we don't, like we can only feed one soldier at a time. And as you can see, the map is very large, um, and there's a lot of soldiers to feed. I think there's at least... It's nine or twelve soldiers to feed or something. And there's the Arukas. And they're true sound, I believe, so we can't just, like, sneak by them. Yeah, but we, we can have Carbuncle fight our battles for us. Okay. Thanks, Ahak, you're here. I was about to start eating my boots. Get on with that, those poison nails, Garby. Nice. Oh. 
Now we have to feed each and every soldier until they're full. So... There's gonna be, um... Like, there's gonna be a giant RNG element in this. And if I thought about it before I started recording, I, could, I probably should have gone and bought uh, sprinter shoes from past. Because we could use those in lieu of, like, say, Bolter's Roll or um, uh, Chocobo Mazurka or something to go even faster. Like, it might be a good idea to do this on, like, Bard Slash Scholar. We'd, we'd have Mazurka and stuff, but... Coral sub! Okay. Um, yeah, I'm trying, lady. I'm trying. Of course, we do have Hermes sandals. If we just did this on Corsair, I think I'd have to buy a Bolter's Roll, but uh, we would be just fine. Okay, dog, I'll let you out in a moment. So we fed the bearded guy last time, right? So we'll feed this guy this time. Oh, they're all bearded guys. Oh, dear God. Okay. Alright, I'm going to step away for just a second to let this dog out. Alright, sorry about that. And sorry to my own timer. <laughs> okay, I think as long as we're feeding these soldiers over here, we can probably recover some MP. We don't need to keep Carby out full time. And obviously, if we actually had real summoner gear and like with like perpetuation cost minus, this would be a lot better because we could actually full time our avatar for longer or for no cost or whatever. So. I think the intention of the original assault was to, like, have half your team feed them, or maybe just avoid the, uh, crawlers altogether or something. They seem like they have a lot of HP, considering Carbuncle's hitting them for, like, 600 a pop. I do know back in the day, sometimes uh, if fighting was deemed to be like a time sink, uh, people would just bring re-raise items and it'd be like, have somebody sack pull all the crawlers like across the map or something, or like all the monsters away from the group, and then let the group basically, you know, work with, you know, for free. Now, like most um, obscure missions and quests in Final Fantasy XI, there's like an invisible hunger meter for each of these troops. And uh, I don't know exactly how much we have to feed each one of these guys. Um,
I assume these guys are still hungry because they're not... They haven't made like a... I'm full sort of... You know, motion or mention. I think we can nullify the uh, cost of sublimation if we wear both of our chi rich rings. Nice. Free sublimation is nice. Okay. So we'll just keep running over here till we get mentioned from them, I guess, that they're done with it, and I think this crawler is going to get in our way, so I think we got a sick Carby on him. We got to get Carby back out. Unfortunate, but... I don't think we're getting very good food. <laughs> and I think we're already like closing in on the halfway point for the time. Yeah, I don't think we're going to win. <laughs> this might be an assault I have to do off screen after this because it's probably going to take me so many attempts. The soloing guide was like, when, when, when you read the soloing guide about it, that's on the auction house site, it was like, for the love of God, if you know literally any other human being, unless you're just like trying to solo these assaults because either you have literally no one or... Uh, you're just trying to do it for the challenge, just to say you did it. Just find someone else. Like you could easily win this assault with two people. Just, <laughs> just get get a second person. Look for someone also working on mythics or whatever. So. I can't believe that Carbuncle costs... Well, we have, like, auto-refresh 3, right? So, like... Carbuncle costs 11 MP every 3 seconds to maintain out? That's wild. Soup again, jeez. Give me something good. Now, I read that if we um, if we get a stew pot, that'll fill up every guard in the vicinity. So if we get a stew pot from her, we'll take it to one of the other quadrants. Um, of course, I don't think we're really gonna we're gonna get that, but we'll see. Like, we'll be lucky to get it once. Yeah. The grind for a mythic weapon is much more involved than the grind for a relic weapon. You have to get 30,000 Alexandrites from Salvage. You have to redo all 50 assaults, right? Because, like, you, 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 to start mythics, you have to be a captain. And to be a, get captain rank, you have to complete all 50 assaults in Treasure of the Argon storyline. 
to um, but then the mythic grind itself requires you to do all all the otter gone content basically or redo it all you got to uh, kill every salvage boss in the original salvage so the uh, the star chariot and the moon chariot and the sun chariot and whatnot um, titles you gotta get all four of those titles um, you have to kill every beastman leader outside of besieged so you have to go into the deepest recesses of the three beastmen strongholds in Ottergon, the trolls the undead swarm and the mamulja and you have to kill galulja you gotta kill Medusa, and you gotta kill Gerferler, the menacing, or whatever. Um, and then you have to get 100,000 ampules of Therian Ichor, which is like a key item currency that you get from doing an event called Einherjar that I don't think I've ever shown off on Calm Wind that takes place in the Hazhelm testing grounds. Um, you gotta get 100,000 Nizul tokens from Nizul Isle and the caveat of redoing all 50 assaults is you don't just do the assaults you're given a book that you have to trade to the rune of transfer before you exit the, ass the successful assault and then you trade it to the rune and the, the rune like trades it back to you and your progress gets logged for the assault and so you have to do that with every assault, which means not only do you have to beat every assault, you have to beat every assault with enough time remaining to actually do that trade before you actually click the assault as complete. So it's, it's kind of an extra shit in your face bonus. And then you have to kill uh, and get the items from the tier 4 ZNMs, uh, Sarah Maya, which is the Cerberus, um, the um, Tenon, which is the Hydra. It's like Tenon's Fang, Sarah Maya's Hide, and uh, I think it's like Cerberus Stinger or something from. Wait, is Tendon the Cerberus? I don't remember. Either way, it's a Cerberus, uh, a Hydra, and a Chimera, and you gotta you gotta get their key items. Well, they're actually rare exclusive items, I believe. And then you have to do this solo duty with the item, and obviously you have to get the uh, the base item from Nizel Isle. Which is like the Wind Slicer or the... For Samurai, it's the Wind Slicer Katana. Uh, for... You know, you know it's those, those weapons I made a big deal about me getting whenever I did the Nizel Climb back when the character was 75. Um, and that... You give that to... Uh, I think it's Ab Abquiba at Salahim Sentinels. So it's like a big, big thing. Hey, pretty mama. Oh, stew pot, stew pot, stew pot. Okay, 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 okay. That's that's huge. That's huge. Let's whip out. Uh, you know what? Oh, no, no, no. Let's whip out Fenrir. I don't care. We got a full sublimation. We're probably gonna run out of time anyway. We might as well have our cool wolfy boy come out with us. Swing. Now supposedly this stew pot will uh, completely feed every soldier in the vicinity and uh, I don't think we will have to uh, feed them ever again for the leg that we go on over here so.
There's nothing like a full belly to put power back into your sword swing. I pity the next monster that crosses my path. Okay. So we might have taken that to the wrong spot. Oh man, there's two more over here. I wonder if they count with those two over there or not. Okay. They do not. That's unfortunate. So obviously there's there's optimizations to do as well. Uh, get them. Fuck them up, Fenrir. Yeah, yeah, okay, those crawlers got like 12,000 HP. That's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> uh, maybe, uh, yeah, you probably intended to avoid them back in the day. Just avoid them completely. Another coral sub. Okay, well. Oh, ten minute, ten minute warning. Yeah, we're 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 boned. We're not gonna we're not gonna complete this. There's no fucking way. Although if I was gonna retry it, I think what I would do is instead of trying to feed these three over here first, I tried to feed those four over there on the other side. Um because they're closer to the lady. And then if I got a stew pot, I'd bring the stew pot over here and that would take care of three soldiers for us. Uh, guaranteed. Oh my god, they're still not full over here. None of them are full. Oh, okay, one of them is full. Wow. Wow. Wild. Yeah. We almost might as well fish or cut bait or whatever, right? Like, we could probably keep going for the, the next 10 minutes. Uh, or I guess it's more like 9 minutes at this point, but. I don't know. Be cool if we got a second stew pot. We could take it back over there to those, uh, those other two that didn't count. In the stew pot, since they're far enough away or whatever. Of course, we'd still have the two over here to finish feeding. The, the two over here have been partially fed, though, so. Wise man does wonder, though, like. They're just at the fucking end of caves. Why don't they come to the lady and get the provisions themselves? Pea soup. And they've given that to us a lot. I think it's something like, if I remember right from what I read on the wiki a while back, it's something like each soldier has like seven units of food or whatever that you can't see. And then like you have to fill them up to seven. And the stew pot fills, you know, seven and it does it on multiple soldiers in the area. And it's like, I think the meat dishes, like the coral sub and the bison stick, I think those are five for an individual soldier. I think pea soup is like one or two or something like that. So like, I don't think we've had very good RNG on this 
assault attempt. me things. Okay, so he's full too. I'm just curious. I, I want to see... I want to see if, like, excess food carries over. Okay, so this one dude here with spikes on his shield. Yeah, that's how you can tell him apart. You can tell him apart by the shield. So the guy with the spikes on his shield over here is still hungry. Yeah, though, the stew pot used in the correct place would probably help quite a bit. You probably need at least... If these are the only soldiers, if like the soldiers we've been to are the only ones on the map, you probably need at least stew, two stew pots to do this solo. Um, and obviously you'd want to use one of the three soldiers. But if they're not the only soldiers, you probably need at least three stew pots. To do it so though I'm pretty sure there's some up in the northwest corner um, that we haven't even been to yet so yeah I'm pretty sure failure is uh, is what we're having right now pea soup again okay All right. By the way, I'm pretty sure the crawlers are immune to stuff like sleep and bind. Well, they might actually they might not be immune to bind, but either way, they're resilient. So like at least I think they're resilient. I'd have to look it up again. Where's Mr. Spike Buckler? Of course, they have to move around and add to the randomness of the run. Okay, so every guy over here is full, even though we have less than, like, we're like, what, three minutes remaining or something? Maybe less than three minutes remaining? Like the only way we're winning this is if she gives us a stew pot next and then the rune of release is like right next to the two guys that we still haven't fed anything to at all. Which, if I was a betting man, I would bet that the Rune of Release is actually going to appear next to the lady that's given out the food. But we probably won't get to figure that out this episode, so. A pox on us. Oh, pea soup, yay, we lose. Woohoo!
Womp womp. Don't let him down! Another bowl of pea soup! Now what I don't get is if she's packing stuff like coral subs and bison steaks, why is she handing us soup? Dun dun dun. You fail. Oh, such is life. Such is life in Final Fantasy XI. Oh. Wellie, well, well. I suppose what we'll do now is we will try escorting Professor Shenhua. Okay, let's read about it. Oh! Oh, wow. Okay, we weren't even close. There's actually... There's three soldiers in the northwest. There's three soldiers in the place that we went to the most. There's those two soldiers in the south and the two that's just west of them. So there's four soldiers in the south and then there's two more soldiers in the very north. Like, holy crap. Yeah, that's definitely gonna be something I do off screen to, uh. Or I might even, like, ask my Link Shell for help or something. It's crazy. I guess scoring Professor Shanwa was over here. Okay. And we could probably take off the desert boots now. Yeah, I'm thinking okay, if there's Yeah, if there's three to the southeast and three to the northwest. You need at least, bare minimum, two stew pots, because that's. There's no way you're going back and forth to those places a gajillion times. Uh, and then you'd probably want to. Just go ahead and do the north one. This one should be significantly easier.
Okay, this guide says bison steaks worth five points, jerky's worth four, subs worth three, soups worth two, and bread's worth one. Wow, we got bread and soup a lot, dude. Like, that sucks. Holy cow. Calvert B. Chenois. Okay, well. What's up, man? I have no idea what's going on in your assault, my good hobo. Since he's not trying to get away from us, I think he just runs forward. Uh, and all we really gotta do... Uh, is kill monsters. Oh, but he's running this way, so... It's another assault where a summoner is tops. Boy, he just keeps going. Probably should have used Retribution, but... Don't get to see stuff like Garland of Bliss very much. Uh, where the fuck did the professor go? What's up, my good man? So maybe he's hiding back here or something? for gain experience, which we no longer need. Whew. 
you know, I believe Spirit Taker does not work like a, um... Yeah, it, it, it just goes off your, the damage you deal rather than being like an actual drain. So... Bada bing, bada boom. Full MP. Come to think of it, that might be a good thing to do for... Oh, bro, are you just over here getting your, your shit kicked in? He is. He is just over here getting his shit kicked in. I'd rather cure an NPC that dumbly runs into skeletons than have to put up with the fucking pirate telling me over and over again. Uh... Ooh, it looks like someone was eating too much garlic. Blub, 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 blub. I have to keep prodding him in the ass to get him to move. I wonder why I don't, I literally don't remember this assault at all. Just literally don't. Of course, I got captain on my other character. I never even entertained the idea of working on a mythic. So once I had done all the assaults the very first time, uh, I just carried off my life. Use Shiva and see some thick thighs to save lives. See how thick her thighs are from over here. picking noise, but you didn't pull out your pick this time. Bro. Well, that was actually really easy. 
We probably could have handled that on Red Mage back in the day, almost no problem. Or, uh, well, I say back in the day. I meant, like, back at 75. I guess I was just really, um... Adverse to escort missions or something. Of course, then again, these skeletons actually did have quite quite a lot of HP, so... Um, That's at I-8, right? So... I just gotta turn around here. Look at that butt. That is a glorious butt for uh, 2002 graphics. I tell you what. Uh, huh, TP bonus. I don't know if she could do that. Neat. I wonder how much TP bonus that is. It's probably something like inconsequential, and that's why I've never heard of it. Either way, that's one more assault out of the way. I guess we just have Lebro supplies now, and then we can become a captain. <sighs> Goodbye, hot stuff. Oh, I got a <laughs> Sorry about that, but at least I got the mic out of the way in time. And let's, before we log out here, let's go ahead and count up our assaults, right? Because there's 50 of them. 51 including Nice Lyle, I believe. So, um, let's count. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, oh, it might be 50... With Nysel? How does that work out, though? Hmm. I might have to look through a recount or something. There might be a... Uh... Oh, no, wait. Was that... Did I count 49 or 50 just now? But that... Because obviously we haven't done Libero Supplies yet, so... Uh, okay. Anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to call... To a close here. We could work on the Voracious Resurgence, but I think I'd want to switch jobs for that. So, um, we're not going to do that. Um, might do some more inventory management off screen. Really, what we got to decide on now with what we're doing is not just the direction of the Let's Play, but the direction of the character. Uh, you know, like which jobs we should focus on gearing up, which jobs we might focus on. Like, at least learning how to play decently well. Um, and for me, I, I think it's pretty clear-cut. It's like Warrior, Red Mage, uh, Blue Mage, Samurai. 
Corsair, Bard, Dark Knight, and maybe Thief. I don't know, that's like eight jobs, it might be a bit too much. But Warrior has our most job points, it's the closest one being mastered. Next is Red Mage, then Blue Mage, or maybe it's Blue Mage, then Red Mage. We still haven't actually learned all of our Blue Magic spells either, which I might work on in the near future, so I can feel good about bringing it around to stuff again. Uh, gotta upgrade our Ambuscade armor for all the jobs, obviously. And there's clearly a set that's for Summoner that we don't have. Which, I don't really plan on using Summoner, but it's just kind of annoying that I have Ambuscade Armor for, like, every other job. But except for, like, very specific jobs, like Summoner. Anyway, uh, I think that's all for now, so thanks for watching, stay safe, and have a great day, and I'll see you again next time.